Hey everyone, in this video, I will be teaching you how to set up your own website using Flask and Python. Uh, we will be making a very basic do not link page, which will ask for a username and a password, and it will check if the username and password are in our database, and if it is, it will log you in. So, first step is to install Flask, open up command prompt and type in pip install Flask. Second step is to open up your favorite IDE, I will be using the VS Code and from flask import flask with a capital f then just set up a variable i'll just be calling it app you can call it whatever you want but just remember this variable will be very very important and it will be equal to flask and as an argument we will pass underscore underscore name underscore underscore now let's actually run our website so app dot run host will be equal to zero um, in string 0.0.0.0 four zeros this will be the ip if you put it as four zeros then it will figure it out on your on its own what the ip should be and the port will be equals to 88 now we actually have to uh, make a function which will return what should be viewed on the main page so on the ip so at app.route <coughs> and in here you can pass the route uh, which it will return. So basically, if you just put a slash, then if you go to the IP, it will return whatever we put under here. But if we put slash test, then if you go to the IP slash test, for example, I don't know, ip.com slash test, it will return, it will do whatever we put in in this function. So let's just leave it as slash because this will be the uh, home, the home screen, the main page, and make a function under it, def home. And it will just return, hi, this is a Flask website. Now, if we run this, we should get some output in the console which says running on and then the IP. So just copy paste that into a web browser and you can see it says, hi, this is a Flask website. Now, if, you, if we add, for example, another app.route, which would be slash test and make it return, this is a test route and we restart it. Uh, wait, I forgot to rename the function, my bad. Oh, you can't have two functions with the same name. And refresh the website, and then you go to slash test. This is a test route, okay? If you go to any other one, let's say another test, it will just say not found. So now, let's actually render some HTML. Uh, if you don't know what HTML is, it is basically, it is a markdown language which displays stuff. For example, every single website is made with HTML. Uh, in this tutorial, I will not be covering the HTML. So you should, if you don't know how to code in HTML, you should go follow a tutorial on that. And that's it. So anyway, we have to add another import from Flask import Flask comma and also render template this will render an html file instead of just some text so return so actually before we return it we have to actually create the html file so in your folder which you have the python script create a new folder and call it templates in the templates folder here you will create all of your html files so let's just create one which will be home.html and let's just make it uh, say hello break wait oh, I think it's break like this yeah break uh, this is an HTML file and now if we do instead of return and then some text we can do return render template and as an argument we just pass in a home.html so if we restart this and restart this, it says, hello, this is an HTML file because break creates a new line and you can see it's on two lines. So I already have written a, uh, log, a basic login HTML uh, file and I will not be going over it if, because this is not an HTML tutorial, it is a Python tutorial. If you want uh, to copy it, it is in the link in the description as along with all of the other code. 
if you want to make your own you can follow a tutorial on how to code uh, in html and you can make your own so i already have it copied oh wait not this we need this oh wrong guy okay uh basically it is just a we don't even need this actually it is just a very basic log uh, html file which just has a login label and input and a password label and input and a redirect button which will go to our url actually we will need this later so i'll just comment out the button for now okay so now if we run this let me restart it and go to the website and you refresh you can see there's a login page the title changed as well username and password if you do not know what html is again i recommend you follow tutorial and do not just copy paste the html code without knowing what it is but anyway uh now let's actually we can actually type it stuff in here but let's um try to actually get the stuff to make that we need a button of course i already um have it over here and the button on click you can see it should on click um location not href it should redirect to slash login we can make a new um a new function over here a new route at app dot route slash login def login and basically uh this in this slash login we will be getting all of the data which we inputted in the input boxes and check it against the, the database so the button should redirect to yes slash login let me see i think that is correct let's just run it oh wait, actually we have to return something let me return okay now if we click if we type hello and one two three four it doesn't matter what and you just click login oh uh, slash confirm login my bad i need to modify this to just be slash login and this is well no we don't need for the password so now if we restart it and refresh we put in a username a password and we click login and we go to slash login um now we have to try to receive the data we can use a uh, we can use a method called post 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 to get the data so just in here pass in actually i think in app.route we have to pass in another argument which will be methods actually in login we might i forgot methods Hmm. Okay, actually, I think an app not route. If I'm wrong, if it doesn't work, we will just put it in, in the login function. So methods equals post, like this. So using this, we can actually now get the data. So to get the data, we can do uh, the username will be equal to, oh, first we have to import request as well. So add another import request. Username will be equal to request dot form and in here we just put in whatever you named your username so uh the name this so mine is username and the password request dot form password to make sure this worked let's just return the username and let's restart this refresh Let's just put in a username, a password, and login. And yep, it returned the username. If we put in, for example, here, this is a username, login, this is a username. Yep, so it managed to get the data successfully. So now let's just check if the username is in the database and then if the password is correct to the password of the username. 
So to do this, we can, I will not be doing anything complicated with databases and stuff because it will take too much time. So our database will simply be one file. So create a new file, a new folder, and call it something like, I don't know, uh, admin, and the, you don't need to put any extension. So we will just be checking. We also have to import OS first, I forgot. So import OS because we need to check if the username is in the list of files. So if username in os.list there, this will list the directory. <clears throat> then we can read that file. So with open username, remember, for example, if the username name is admin, then it will check if admin is in the files. And if it is, which it is, then it will read it. And we can put inside of the admin file a password. So let's just make the password be very strong password. Yep, I really think it's very strong. <laughs> so with open username in R mode, because we want to read it as F or file, I guess it doesn't matter as file. The password then, correct password will be equal to file dot then we can do if password, the password which is inputted, remember it was this, is not equal to correct password, then we can return wrong password. And if it is else, we can return successful login. Successful login. And if the username is not in the directory, so if the username is incorrect, we can just return wrong username, okay? So now if we restart this, we refresh our website and we put in as username admin and password very strong password and we click login, successful login. If I go back and type in username something else, like username, wrong username. If I put the username the correct and the password wrong, it should say wrong password and yep, it did. So now you have a successful login. You can make it render anything else you want. You don't have to make it render successful login. You can make, for example, a more complex website using this, uh, this script. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're feeling generous, subscribe. And as always, see you later.